The Artist TV, Block 5 Entertainer. Big up all them walking with me. Obviously this is just a quick catch up for you, you get me? I came round to the block to give you this, but it's pouring down out there. So I had to find a little spot and get this comfy. Anyway, like I told you on the last one, anybody talking shit, doing dead interviews and talking about their really the most, you get me, Mr. RTM? I'm gonna talk on what really went down between us, yeah? So this is how it goes down. First of all, and foremost, I wanna let you know that I sent a message to Chronic Sleuthen 24 hours ago. I said to him, hear what it is, big man. Bell me, and we can talk. Cause I seen his interview with Young Spray, Mr. RTN, and I ain't feeling the lights. Bare lights. Like for the outside, people might think that Chronic was bigging me up. And kind of half of it he was. But the facts he put over to you were bollocks. And the facts that Young Spray said were more lies out of his mouth, like he told me for five years. So here's how it goes. I'm going to first give you the fucking things that I've been told for years. And I still never dismiss the RTM. But he wants to go on there mocking man, talking about the streets want to know. I've never said the streets want to know, fuck all. My things for the roads. The streets want to know was a DVD way back in the day that used to do interviews. That's got fuck all to do with me. So you got that one wrong, Mr. RTM. Secondly, I'm a white. I'm a big white. You lied out your mouth for five years, telling me you're real. Sorry, real the most. You get me? You're a man of your words and you lied, fucking continuously lied. And the only reason I carried on listening to your lies, because I wanted to give the people the real. And I knew that my interview with you would fuck up all the bullshit you put out there. Because I'll ask you what people really want to know. Face to face, man to man. But you didn't want to give me that. You never had the RTM balls to give me that big man. So you kept waffling me on. But I'm going to tell them the whole of our connection. Every little thing that happened. Because you tried to make out on your interview that I was on some beggy beggy, ringing you too much. <laughs> Say no more, big bad spray. We're going to start with chronic smoothing. Is how it goes, big man. Chronic slew them, I thought you was nice. You brought me to your yard. We walked the streets of East London together. And this is how you deal with me. I never once in my whole time on camera have ever said a thing wrong about chronic. Man asked me about chronic slew them. I said he's decent, he's respectable. And then you want to go out there and laugh when Mr. RTM is mocking me, talking about you don't know our business. Okay, say no more. Let me give you all the real ones how this went down. First thing first, RA's in jail doing a 10. Me and, and um, Chase, big up Chase, we go to visit RA. So obviously when we're talking to RA, he's telling man that he's in a studio, you get me? He's putting that fire together. So I'm like, rah, we need to hear that. The roads want some of that RA fire, you get me? They're listening to a lot of shit out here. Give them some of the real fire. So he's like, say no more. You know how Art does it, he don't really say nothing. He's like, say no more. Next thing, man's getting that delivery, you get me? A Donny sent me the five tunes from jail. So I'm gassed, innit? Fucking hard. Fire. So I've got the five tunes from jail. I've sent them out. This time here, one of them I named Brick Walls, one of them I named Shoot a Light, one of them I named Mockery, one of them I named Murder, and one of them I named Life. That was the five tunes. You get me? So this is what goes down after that. I released a tune called Brick Walls. People was going fucking bonkers. Bonkers! The fire was back. You get me? 
Then I released Shoot Alive. The tune was going bonkers. Then I released Mockery. The tune was going bonkers. So anyone who don't know the history of The Artist TV, my channel got hacked. Yeah, some cocksucker hacked my channel. That's why all these other dead fucking interview channels have took me over and made it look like they're doing some real talks. You get me? So I had to start again. So all the footages got deleted. But this is how me and Chronic started. Because I put the tracks up there like I just explained to you. So the first few tracks were out there, they were going buck wild. Spliff TV was leaving comments. Fucking Rap City was leaving comments. Jet Ski Wave was leaving comments. A bear of other real Donnies were leaving comments up there that are known in the game. Chronic Slew them was leaving comments. One of his comments was Big Up RA. I was in jail with him. He's a real Donny. Big Up The Artist TV. So I'm seeing these comments, innit? I don't know if Chronic Slew them. But I'm seeing the comments like he's bigging up RA, say no more. So I've got two more tracks left. So I'm saying to myself, right, you know what? It's dead to just keep putting out the tracks. Let's try and get someone on them. So I'm looking about. I'm talking to R. He's telling me, listen, I'll give you the tracks, do your thing, but don't fuck up. So I'm saying I want to get Shaq with the on one or Den Den and call it Brixton's Finest. Because I'm going nuts in it. I'm thinking about Notorious P.I.G. and Jay-Z. So I want a Brixton's finest. I know them two will fuck it up. So long story short, I connect with Shaq. Because I don't really know Den Den like that. Like later years I talked to him. But I didn't know Den Den like that back then. So anyway, I've got all this Shaq. I'm like, right, I want to do a tune with you and R.A. But I'm going to pick my hands up. My head in shit. I can't make videos back then. I can't still make them too tough now. So Shaq knows this, ain't it? But he's trying to come nice. He don't want to tell me, you know what? You're editing shit, rude boy. Me and RA can do this track. It will be fire. But we have to promote it and make the video properly. So he's not trying to do me wrong. Like, tell me straight up, you know what? You're editing shit. Give me the track. But he's telling me, right, give me the track. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm not giving nobody the track. Because these tracks are fire, and if I give it to anyone, I don't know where the fuck that's going. So I'm not giving no one the track. Anyone who gets the track, I'm linking them. So anyway, the Shaq thing's not happening, because I know full well he wants to do a video with someone else. You get me? He's got the links with SBTV and all them man there. I ain't got no links. I'm just out here solo trying to put some real out. So my head's thinking, nah, fuck that. Shaq's gonna go do a video with a man like Morgan Keys. This time here, I'm thinking I'm Morgan Keys and I ain't got shit on it. Still to this day, you get me? So I'm gonna be real. That's how my thing's set. I can't make no Morgan Keys video. So obviously, the, the Shaq thing's not come about. So I'm trying to think, who do I reach out to? Remember, I can't be on no begging thing. I'm coming from Block 5 and it's RH Tunes. So I can't run people down. So I'm thinking, well, who's, who's doing what? So I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Chronic. He's all right over there, East London, slew them. He's getting fused, he's waiting on me. Let me give him some love. Make him jump on the track. So I'm telling our mate, well, Donny over in East said he was in jail with him, Chronic. He said, I ain't never been in jail with Chronic. But say no more, innit? But Donny's waiting you. Let me see what he's got. So me and him connect on Twitter. He knows what my platform is, The Artist TV. You've been putting comments. Now he's up on Young Spray's interview, Mr. RTM, telling him that he didn't, I didn't, he didn't know my platform. He didn't know who I was. I was just a little white you. Imagine that, the white you. And then he's starting like, oh, The, the Artist TV. Like he don't know who I am, but he's following me on Twitter. That's fucking foul, Chronic. That ain't real.
That ain't a man to a man. I've never dissed you, big man. And you try to diss me up on this guy's fucking dead platform. Is that how you do me, Chronic? When I've never dissed you once? That's fucking foul, big man. That's all I can say. But I've got love for you, you get me? So I'm going to finish the story. So anyway now, like I told you, I'm not giving the tracks to no one. So Chronic said he wants to fly on the track. So I've gone to East. I've linked Chronic on my jacks. He's took me to his house. I respect the brother, like, no, you took me to your house, that's real, you get me? We've walked through the streets of East London trying to buy a CD to put his first on. We're trying to do that. Tell me I'm lying, Chronic. We was nice, his family's at home. I'm sitting in his yard waiting for him to do his first. He even done a pound cake for me. As I'm sitting there, his brother's running from the bin. He's told him he's here with the artist. You remember the artist, the one who he can't even pronounce on Young Spray's interview? His brother said, well, let me chat to man. He said to me, rude boy, big up RA, big up what you're doing. I was with RA, he's a real dog. I'm like, say no more, brother, man's here for the real ones. That was the end of that. So me and Chronic finished, he gave me a pound cake, we showed love to each other. He done an interview. He was telling me on the phone before we even linked that my interviews are fucking nuts. He said they were nuts, like big up to your interviews are nuts. Sat down and did an interview with me. It's on the channel now. The reload of his interview is on the channel now. But Chronic, he didn't know who I was. He didn't know what my platform was. So anyway, that was everything with chronic, chronic, sir. I know full well that the video I brought out with RA and chronic called Murder was a flop. It done the least views of all the videos and the video was shit. I hold my hands up. I was actually waiting for the fucking call from chronic to tell me, DR this, take the video down. Man don't rate that, man wants the video to be better. But the fucking call never come. I thought me and Chronic was nice. He's up on there telling Young Spray that he didn't like the production. Man should have took it down and done a new one. Chronic, man had love for you. You could have got at me and said that. I would have done something with you. Man ain't ignorant. Man's just trying to keep it real with those who keep it real with me. So if you would have got at me and said, you know what, man don't rate that video, come better than that. We could have done something. You could have done something. You got more links than me. No one don't want to fuck with the artists in this game. So you would have been able to do more than me. I even remember you telling me that Lordy was chatting to you and he rates the team. But this time here now, on Young Spray is the real of the most. His podcast. You're just letting him diss me, rude boy. Letting him mock, man. What's that about? So yeah, you know what, Chronic? Man, still got love for you. So honour me, big man. We can sort this out. But if I was real, rude boy, I feel like you need to come back on the net and apologise for that one, big man. Because you let that go out there on air and that was fake, big man. There's nothing real in what was said there. Nothing. I done you right, big man. I came to your house, I gave you an RA tune, and that's how you deal with man. And let me just settle something what Mr. RTM said there. No, no, Chronic never tried to get you on a track with RA. No one sent you a track with RA. I came to Chronic's house with the track in my hand. And I left Chronic's house with a track in my hand. He played it in his house and I took it with me. He never sent you no track. I was there when he rang you, right next to him. You wasn't even rating the team. You was talking like you didn't even care about no Chronic track. But now you mans are nice and you've known each other from school. He knows how you stay. I said to Chronic in his yard, 
Right, it's like Young Spray don't even want to be on the track with you. No, no, that's how he is. That's how he is. Say no more. He's not my brethren. I don't know how he is. I've never met him. I don't know him. So cool. You know what's good. Young Spray, man was waiting his track. So if he's on the track, it could be fire. But that's it. That's the whole of the thing with Chronic. Couple times he's liked my pictures on Insta through the years. We ain't had no connection like that after that. You get me? I left there thinking me and Chronic are brothers, we're nice. I've linked him in his own yard, his own area, on my jacks. He treated me with respect, he never stuck man in no ways. You get me? He kept it far. And then this is how you do me on Mr. RTM. Rid of the most. Mocking people that ain't done him nothing. But the ones who fire you throughout their living life. I don't rate that. So yeah, that's how it goes with chronic. You get me? Talk to me, brother. Keep it real. That's all you got to do. I ain't out here to mock no one who ain't mocked me. Treat man how he treat me. That's how I deal with life. So anyway, let's get on to Mr. RTM. So, you didn't do the interview because I was on to you too much. I was winning you too much. <laughs> Rude boy. How are you going to deal with your fans like that, big man? How are you going to deal with your fans like that? Do you know I've never mocked you to no one? No one! You know how many people have laughed at you? Big Donnies that are fucking far out here. And I've still said, nah, man's waiting on the interview to ask him in his face. Do you know how many people sent me the footage of you sitting at a table with fucking bad man, Brixton's finest, Quincy? You get me? One of the Brixton Donnies who everyone knows. You were sitting there, SBTV. After you know that he violated you on social media, violated you, and you're sitting there talking about white boys and fish and chips, and in one of our conversations, you even said the words, well, I bet you've got some naughty questions for me, ain't you? I bet you're gonna ask me about what Quincy said. And then you wanna sit there and talk about fish and chips and white boys. What the fuck's that? I thought you was really the most rude boy. I don't understand, you're mocking me. I've never done you dirty. You're gonna slap up man like Posty. You're gonna slap up man like Link Up TV's Rashid. Them man have always portrayed them on this business thing. Never talked like they're on no gangster thing. Quincy's a bad man gangster from morning. But you're not gonna slap no one up called Quincy. Because that man they ain't taking no violations. They've been knocking man out from fucking early. They're not on no violations. So say no more, let's sit down and talk about fish and chips. Okay, let's move on to us now. Because you told your people that I'm a big why. A big why. No young spray, you're a big why. I tell you what you're a big why for. Why didn't you keep your word as a man? Why didn't you do that, young spray? You gave me better times your word and you did nothing. You're a why, a big why, because you ain't done shit to the people that have violated you, but you want to keep coming out, picking on, disrespecting people that ain't done shit to you. That ain't man. That ain't gangster for certain, rude boy. That ain't fucking real. I done nothing, let alone most. So here what I'm gonna say to the people. This is how me and Young Spray connected. And you tell me how I was begging it. Big up Tanner, my fucking brother, old Trey. He comes to me on the phone telling me, rude boy, I'm going to do a tune with Stanner. Late and bad boy Stanner, you know it is, gang banner. 
You get me? Make sure you check out that interview, the re-uploads on the channel, DRG's TV, the realest interview Stan has ever done. Anyway, he's like, Ra, what are you saying? What do you want? I said, Rude, bro, I'm with you. What are you saying? Man needs to meet Stan. I want to see what he's on with that interview. You get me? Everyone knows he's a real dummy. So anyway, I drove up there with, with Tanner to see Stan. Them two are bridges. Serve time together, real, you get me? So anyway, I've got up there with Stan. I'm in the studio. Stan is putting down the fire. Tan is putting down the fire. I see a brother over there. You get me? I'm a trainer, man. So I will watch the trainers. I see a dolly over there with some um, harachis. You know the red and black ones? The ones that were hard. They came in like a two-pack thing. There was like two different colours in the collection. But anyway, I saw a dolly wear them, so I'm looking at them. Then I looked up, and it's Young Spray. You get me? Like, well, man knows who Young Spray is. You get me? Man can't front at him. He had fire. Man, this is a bit of his tunes. You get me? It's robbery time. Black guts, black boots, I'm robbing his shine. Man's got big car buying. You get me? Max. Tens, real star nines. I'm in tune there, man knows what time it is. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm like, right, well, tell him what you saying, young spray. He's like, yeah. So I tell him not straight. No lying. Man knew it was young spray. Man wanted that young spray interview, of course. Man would fuck up that young spray interview. But man didn't say a word. Man did not say a word to him. So then anyway, the night's going on, Tanner must have been, what was he doing? I think he was like talking between one of, um, one of Young Spray's bridges, I think it was Smitty they call him. Like he's one of the real dons from up there in Tottenham. So Tanner's talking to him now, and then I must have said to Tanner, Rah, um, Tanner, you don't know if there's a toilet in here or something. And then Young Splay flips round, word to life, I told you, and he like, man, put down the camera, never film again. Young Splay turns round and says to me, right, you're that Donnie, isn't it? You're that Donnie who does the interviews. So I'm like, yeah, the artist. He's like, yeah, say nothing, I want one of them. I'm like, yeah, what are you saying, though, big man? Because enough man say they want one and they don't give me nothing. He said, listen, when I say I want it, I want it. I'm going to talk to my management and we're going to do it. So obviously I'm gassed in my head, didn't it? Young Spray, man, we'll tear that up. Big boy interview. But I'm just calm with it, like, well, oh, yeah, say nothing, big man. So we exchange numbers. So obviously we all leave now, innit? Stan has fucked up the game with the Hear My Pain tune, or I'm sorry, album. Them two's done fire verses on it. I'm not a hater. You get me? Tanner fucked that up, and Young Spray fucked it up as well. Their verses were hard. So yeah, we've all left there now. So a couple of days go by, and I must have built up Young Spray. We had a nice little talk. We was calm. Everything was good. So then, yeah, man's all up in there, talking to him, getting it all sorted out. Man's like, yeah, when are we going to do it? He said, give me a couple of weeks. Man gave him a couple of weeks. Nothing come. So yeah, I'm running. What the fuck? I'm an interviewer, am innit? You're stalling me out. So I'm running. He never answered. So then I must have sent him a text. Well, wow, young spray, what's going on? Well, no interview. He blanked it. That's it, he blanked it. Mr. Real was realer than most. Blanked the talk. He didn't want to do the interview, obviously. I'm there ahead. I'm thinking, well, wow, fuck it, he ain't on it. So anyway. Man's not out here for no begging. So I have to allow it, innit? It's done deal. Another one bites the dust. So, I can't even remember. It must have been maybe a year, maybe a year after. I'm on Cold Arbor Lane in Brixton. A car pulls up at the side road. It's bibbing me. It's bibbing me. So I look round. It's Young Spray. So if I'm running in down, I'm begging in, why is he bibbing me when I didn't even see him? So he's in the car with a woman, she can state the facts. 
He's in the car with some woman, I don't know that, isn't it? So anyway, she saw what went down. So I've come over, I'm like, where are big man? I see you've got new tunes out there with Fit Santoro. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's just a little light thing. I said, yeah, so what's going on, big man? What's going on with the interview? He said, yeah, I'm gonna give you it. I said, but you said that. He said, yeah, trust me, you're gonna get the interview, that's my word. So that's twice now, twice now, Mr. RTM has given his word, you get me? So I'm believing him, I'm like, well, you know what, if this is real life, I'm gone if you keep fucking me over. But the fans want the interview. So I'm willing to stay the distance for the real Donnies. They want me and Young Spray to sit fucking down and spit the real face to face. So anyway, long story short, he fronts me out again. Young Spray had given me no interview. He knows the questions I've got for him. They're not the ones he's been asked on the dead interviews. So he ain't coming to sit down with the artist. But he ain't telling me that. So anyway, next connection I have with him. Big up C1. Because C1 and me talk. And he tells me straight, listen, you're not getting no interview from me. I don't like the questions that you're going to be asking me. And no one else ain't never said that to me. So you ain't going to. So I respect that, you get me? The man told me straight, you ain't getting shit. So I never have to sweat his name again because he's told me it's not happening. So it's not happening, isn't it? Cool. Respect for that. So anyway, Caddy's on down the line now. I'm with Biker one time. Big up Biker. Legendary interview he gave me. Pissed that the streets never got the part one and two. You get me? That's how it goes sometimes though. I fucked up. My hands up. I lost them. I fucking deleted them when I shouldn't have. And then when Biker told me to put them back, I couldn't even fucking find them. So yeah, I fucked that one up. I'm pissed more than anyone can be. But anyway, I'm in the car with Biker. This time here, Biker's raping the channel. I know this because he's trying to get me interviews off real dummies. So I'm in the car with Biker and he says to me, um, what was it he said to me? He said, yeah, um, let me get a young spray. So I'm like, nah, man, Young Spray ain't doing nothing. He's told me a couple of times he's going to do it. He ain't doing nothing. So he's like, nah, nah, me and Young Spray are nice, man. Let me talk to him and see what he said. So anyway, he's one Young Spray. And then he said to Young Spray about, um, what you say, DR this TV interview. Young Spray tells him that I've been fronting. He's been waiting for the fucking interview. Then big boy lies there. I'm sitting in the car and saying, what are you talking about, Spray? I've been waiting for the interview. He's trying to argue me down, telling me that it's me who's fucking stalling it out. Because bike is there. I'm stalling it out when the camera's charged for fucking two, three years. Waiting on you. Man's got a fucking 24 page fucking questions. So anyway, that there, we connect again. So, I ring him up. Same shit again. Man's gonna do it. He said to me, link him on the Friday. Link him on the Friday. I get everything ready. I ring him on the Thursday, he don't answer. I get at him on the Friday thinking, you know what, man could be busy. I know he ain't gonna fuck man over again. So yeah, he fucked me over again. The Friday comes, he rings me out. So another year maybe goes on. Um, yeah, the timing I might get these wrong, you get me? Because I can't remember. But all this is between a four or five year period that man just kept fronting me out for no reason. When all he could have said was, you know what, DR, I don't even want the interview. Fuck that. Man's not on no interview with you. And that's it, I'm gone. But he kept telling me his song. Kept telling me his song. So anyway, long story short, <laughs> long
long story short, you know, this was a fucking long story, trust me. I can't even remember all the lit wings and that. But anyway, we have another connection. I can't remember how this one happened. I think it was due to the shit that happened down with them Peckham dummies. I don't even need to go into that because the whole world knows, you get me? But some reason, oh no, 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 that's it. Remember, anyone who knows the thing and how it went down, remember Young Spray put a thing up on his Instagram saying, it, I reckon it's time I went on the artist TV. Now, if you know the thing, you know that he's done that. He did that. So then it's me again getting gassed up in it because he's put that out there. So I don't think he's gonna fuck up again. But still, bare people started putting out comments. Bare people started getting at me. So again, Young Spray didn't come through. So anyway, um, the next thing I do is I'm looking at the YouTube and he's on that engineer. You know, if, is it Fumes the engineer? He's on his interview. I'm thinking, wow, well, look how man's mocking me. He told me I'm 100% the next interview. And he's sitting down with my man. Then he goes on a knock for the radio. I'm like, fucking hell. In fact, I don't know which way round them two was. But he done both of them interviews and just mocked me. But you're realer than most. You're real to your word. So that's how the young spray thing was going down. For anyone who wants to listen to him out there saying that I was begging him, running him down, ringing him too much. No. You hollered to me a couple times and never kept your word. So then anyway, we had one more connection. After all the peck and shit, somehow we're back on the phone. And I'm t he's telling me I can have my interview now. So we're on the phone, and again he's telling me that I can't ask him about certain things. So I'm telling him that can't run in, isn't it? He's telling me, well, what, you think I'm going to talk about that situation? So I'm telling him, listen, we've got to talk about everything. Everything that people want to know. So he's telling me he's not on that. Um, but then he still told me, we're going to do the interview. He's telling me about, oh, do I know anyone who's got any weed and shit? So I'm like, no, I don't even fuck with nothing like that, big man. So we're talking and that, all this bollocks. Then he's telling me, yeah, get out in next week or some shit. So again, I'm thinking, no, the people want the interview. Let me get at him next week. So I get at him again next week. He fucks me over like he has done every single time. No answer. You get me? No answer. So I get pissed now. And I put the thing up on Instagram. You must have seen it if you know what my thing is. I put the thing up of the 20 odd pages and the microphone saying big bad spray, real talk interview. Ready to do it, what's good spray? So he don't like that now. He don't like that I've put that up there for the people to see he's been fucking me around for years. So he gets at me. He starts telling me about why did I do that. I'm telling him because I'm sick of waiting. So I can't even remember exactly what was said. But he starts going on about all the African child shit and all that. And, um, and then I'm trying to tell him about my side of it. And he puts the phone down on me. Puts the phone down on me. So that was the last time me and Young Spray, Mr. RTM, had any connection. I've never sent him another thing, because I wouldn't. Because the amount of lies he told me, I wouldn't be able to trust nothing he says to me. But like I say, I'm a big why. I'm a big why. Because I'm following my brother, who fucking gave me the pass 
on block five, fed two of my kids for 15 years, let me run around these block doing my entertainment. Fucking never ask nothing for me. But I'm following him on Instagram because I want to be a follower and show him that I support what he's doing. I support these movements. I don't give a fuck about Instagram. You can all see how much I post up there. I don't know about promotion. I don't know how to fucking do it. I support RA because he's an artist and he's my brother. What the fuck are you on about, Spray? You've done an interview talking about Tricky. It's a bit off because he was saying about your eyebrows or some shit. What are you watching my following for? That's a bit fucking fruity, bruv. What are you watching my following for? I don't give a fuck who you're following. I don't give a fuck who's following you. Good luck to you. Why are you worried who I'm following? That's fucking fruity, bruv. Come on, young spray. That ain't gangster for certain. I can say a bag of shit on you. But I'm just saying to the facts, big man. Because I wanted to do it face to face to you. You get me like a man. Ask you the questions that people want to know. But you want to come up on there. Mocking me. When I've done fuck all to you. Rude boy. My interviews are the realest. You get me? Your interviews ain't really the most rude boy. You've had motherfucking crime on your feet. You've had size on your feet. You've had Jar Jar on your feet. Just to name a few big man. All three of them have got road stories that the people have been begging to hear for years. And you want to ask man if they like Pepsi or Coke? Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston? Chinese or Indian? Anybody out there who wants to see real talk interviews, look up on my channel at the me and Jar Jar interview. You get me? I ain't got a crime in interview because he told me in my face he's not sitting down with me. So that's that. I ain't running man down because he showed me. Don't ask me for that interview. But I got a nice footage up there with Crimer. When we looked out for the youths, Crimer took them out for the day. You get me? Don't miss that. It's up there. A man like Size has told me he's coming in the next month. I'll show you how you interview a man who's a fucking bad boy in Peckham. And there's bare things that the roles want to know. You get me? Young Spray, Mr. RTM, I ain't never done you wrong. And you want to deal with me like that? You see what I'm saying, brother? That's not real. That's not gangster for certain. There's a bag of man out there that you need to be dealing with. You get me? Allow me, big man. Because I ain't on it. I ain't on it at all. That's fucking long. Man like Chronic. Came to your yard, brother. Showed you respect, big man. Dish you not once to anyone. And that's how you let man deal with me. You're going on there like you can't even remember my name. <sighs> big man, I know you're looking to give me an apology because that's how the real brothers do it, you get me? So like I say, as for my Instagram, I swear to you out there, the real ones that follow me, I've got bare bad man's phone numbers on my phone. If I want to talk to them, I can ring them. You get me? They're my brothers. They show me love. They spoke to me. Give me the time of day. I don't have to go up on fucking eats to a light man's picture to get no respect. You get me? What the fuck's that doing in the real world? Walk with me. Young Donnie's out there, don't watch no fake shit. Look after your families and do right by the people that are real with you. Don't let no fake shit on the internet gas you up. Because when it comes down to the real big man, you're lucky if you get a handful in your whole life. You get me? 
Man will just talk shit behind your back and then smile in your face. Mops you on the internet when you ain't done shit to them. <laughs> Not me. Anybody does anything in 2023 that has fucked me over, expect to see another video. Big up all the real ones. Walk with me. One.